Okay. okay, guys. Today we're gonna talk about the attachment of the scapula. On the scapula, we are having the different kind of attachment. First of all, here <coughs> you can see that at this place, <coughs> this is called that subscapular fossa. We are having here the attachment of subscapularis muscle. Then the medial border here, we are having the attachment of the stratus anterior muscle. At the crocoid process, we are having attachment of the pectoris minor. We are having the coracobrachialis muscle attachment over there. At the back side here, if we are looking here, <coughs> the back side have been divided into the two fossas by the spine of the scapula, supraspinatus and the infraspinatus fossa. <coughs> we got here the muscle attached at the supraspinatus fossa. We call that supraspinatus muscle. Here, the infraspinatus muscle. At this place, we got the muscle we call that teres minor muscle. This place, the teres major muscle. This place, we got the muscle we call that levator scapuli. Here we got the rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major attachment. At this place, at the spine, we got here the attachment of the trapezius muscle. At this place, at the chromium, we got the attachment for the deltoid muscle. <coughs> we got here at the glenoid fossa, above the glenoid, we got the supraglenoid tubercle. We got the attachment of the long hand of the bicep here. And the infraglenoid tubercle, we got here the attachment of the long hand of the tricep. A little bit at this place at a lower angle that here in inferior angle we got here the attachment of the lattice mysteries and few fibers over there okay <clears throat> thank you very much